I really like where they're coming from. I really like the intention behind it. I really love the theme around people to people because that's a lot of what I do and a lot of the work that I'm very passionate about is about connecting. So for those reasons, I thought I've kind of got to be here. In terms of the key themes that I was trying to get across, what I wanted to say is that actually, number one, there's some precedents that we can look at. So we can look at other things that have happened. So I started talking about hip hop as an example which was a remixing culture. It sort of got the idea of people remixing and cutting two, two different things together in terms of sounds and voices. And I think there's a lot of parallels between that and social media. I also wanted to talk about the fact that not everything digital works for people. And this whole conference is about people to people, but sometimes digital gets in the way because the motivators, the drivers that are driving those things are not people, they're cost and cost reduction. And we're not stupid, and people aren't stupid. When they don't use digital technology, it's because it's not working for them. It's not because they're Luddites, it's because it's not working for them. And if it's not designed with the end user in mind, if it's designed just to save money, um, then those things won't be used. Uh, and the final point I wanted to make is that social media isn't just about things like um, Twitter. You know, people say it's about you know, what I had for lunch. And I wanted to give some real life case studies about where it's changed lives, where social media has saved lives or reduced teenage pregnancies. And so I was talking about a couple of case studies uh, for the work that we've done and that we've uh, helped our clients to do where we can actually show tangible benefits. We're working with um, NHS Direct. And NHS Direct, as you know, is a telephone-based service. But they recognise that for young, um, young girls in particular who perhaps had had unprotected sex, that they might not either want to or have access to making that kind of a call to find out what they needed to do. So one of the things we worked with the team at NHS Direct to look at was in terms of how they could use web chats in order to facilitate those kind of conversations. We set up a virtual clinic and we put the front door to that clinic in Bebo. And we know from the average interaction was around 12 minutes long. And we know also that actually people were making changes to behavior based on their interactions with these advisors. So we could actually be able to demonstrate that yes, social media was being used to actually affect young people's behavior and make a difference. People are coming with a shared sense of wanting to learn, so, but coming from completely different spaces. And what I'm really getting out of it is just seeing how people tackle all the similar issues, but coming at it from a different angle. Um, so in terms of my takeouts, you know, I've already learned um, in terms of what John Bell was saying and, and in relation to how Ogilvy approached things and, and the way with the, the whole 360, I think that's fascinating, the kind of strategic working in a, in a marketing context. Just, you know, I, I live in my world and I deal with my range of my clients and, and try and deal with the sorts of problems that they're facing. And, I, and I, I love the fact that I can hear other people, their worlds, their experiences and what's working for them. In terms of my vision, I really think, um, as I said in my talk, we're just scratching the surface with this. I think, you know, I talked about it as I feel like I'm an outsider in social media. Uh, you know, I don't have thousands of followers, you know, I, I don't tweet every minute of the day, although my wife may disagree. Um, but I really think that we're just really scratching the surface and what's great about it is that we're all still learning, we're all still practicing, you know, Twitter wasn't here five years ago, you know, you know Google wasn't here 12 years ago. So we're all just learning and I think the possibilities are limitless. I wouldn't actually want to say, what is it going to look like in five years time? What is the world going to look like? But I know that we're at a point where things are shifting. There is a, there's a kind of a seismic shift in the way in which people are relating to each other. And that for me is the most, I'm just happy to be a part of it.